Hi guys, so I washed my face and now I'm going to go to bed. I thoroughly enjoyed watching uh, Zach's live stream tonight. It was diverting. It was a hoot. It was hilarious. It was everything. Um, I was thinking tonight um, of possibly, I've, I've heard for, um, for years from people that they like my voice. Um, I've always been self-conscious that it's kind of low and husky. And it even was when I was a child. <laughs> I had a fifth grade teacher say to me one time, um, she was doing roll call or something. And I, and, and I said, here, or something like that. And she said, oh, we've got a husky one here. And I was like, I thought, I, of course, me, with my borderline personality issues, I instantly thought that was an insult. But because um, like, oh, aren't girls supposed to speak all high and everything? Anyway, oh God, I can't just make a freaking point. Um, I wanted to ask your opinion as to whether or not you think it might be beneficial to me to start um, an ASMR channel. I know that tonight I mentioned ASMR, probably for the first time, but it's a huge interest of mine, and I do watch a lot of ASMR artists, ASMR artists, my favorite being um, Maria, Gentle Whispering, because I do suffer from anxiety and insomnia, and listening to certain not just voice types, but voice patterns and timbers. It's, it's extremely specific with me. Um, but listening to certain types of voices really, really soothes and relaxes me. Um, even And it's not even just voices. It's certain other sounds. Someday, oh God, I always say this. Someday I'll, I'll do a, um, a video about how I first discovered that I had ASMR, which stands for Audit autonomous meridian sensory response um and it's it's a limbic response that's tuned into your um sense of hearing obviously where you some people get tingles i don't really get tingles but i get a very deep almost hypnotic body relaxation sensation which is wonderful when you suffer from anxiety believe me and um but like i said it's not just voices it's certain sounds some people like scratching, some people like tapping, some people like what they call mouth sounds, which I kind of really don't, but um, there's people who have certain like lisps and things, what you might almost call a speech impediment, but maybe not quite put that harshly, um, and I get ASMR responses in my, I don't want to say in my body, that sounds so creepy and freaky, but um, it's like an emotional sensation response. It's interesting. It's fascinating to me. Um, I love mentioning it to people and seeing if they know what I'm talking about, because then you instantly know you found your tribe. But I was thinking of trying it out either on this channel or, well, no, I would do it as a separate channel. I even have some different like names for it in mind. But I think um, I've heard for years from people, including from like professional people in the business, that I should be a voice actor or a voiceover actor. Um, and I'm not saying that to brag. I'm, I'm actually saying I've been told that very often. Um, I've done some like microphone work at different jobs and things where I've had to make announcements. And um, in school, I was always doing the like the morning readings and things like that. And even when I was in rehab, I'd be like, let Lisa speak. <laughs> let Lisa do the reading because the big book is so boring, but she has a good voice. Um, so that makes me kind of happy. And I was thinking that I might like to get into that on YouTube. Not, you know, not for money or anything. I don't think I could ever be as good as Maria because she, she's young and extraordinarily beautiful. And when I say beautiful, I mean, she's she's breathtaking. Like, she looks like something from a, a, a Disney movie come to life. I mean, she's just ex extraordinary. She glows. And she's um, she's married to another... Um, ASMR artist that she met through this line of work and they've got a baby now and oh my god it's such a fairy tale I've been watching her from the beginning and um, she's had a lot of ups and downs but now she's just an absolute star and makes a lot of money doing it you know moved from um, Maryland I want to say DC yeah she lived in Maryland and now she's in, in beautiful California with her family her new you know hubby and baby Mila Anyway, um, that's a tangent, but I do, I am interested in ASMR. 
I love sounds. Um, I'm a very five senses oriented kind of person. So, uh, my eyes are still tearing. I took a nap earlier before work and my cats sometimes sleep with me. And I woke up and like the tip of the cat's tail was like, I know that sounds gross. And I am allergic to cats, even though I have them. And I'll never get rid of them because I'm I'm in love with them. But um, I don't tend to have like my face right near any of their fur. I pet them and stuff, but then I wash my hands. But um, I got a fur in my eye today and I put drops in and everything, but it's been tearing all day. But I did my nighttime cleansing and moisturizing routine. As you can see, I have no real eyebrows without my product on. Thank you, Hashimoto's. And uh, I'm all keyed up, I think, from watching the Zachary Michael stream. It was so many people in there. There was like over 3,000 people, including some real icons. Um, it was fun. He shouted me out. I sent him $2 for the super chat. I don't have any money to spare. I really don't. I don't. I never even contribute to friends' fundraisers and stuff. I can barely pay my bills. But I wanted him to shout me out. So I said, here, buy a dog bone for, for Judy Lou, his little dog. But, um, oh, God, it's so hard to not snack when you see people snacking. Like, I can skip meals very easily. But I'm telling you, oh, my God, at night... It's so hard to not snack. And I'm the type of person, like, very little willpower. I can't have it in the house. You know, it's not like I can buy it and think, like, well, I'll just portion this out and I'll have two graham crackers. It'll be fine. No, I can't. Ha there's, I mean, there's certain things I can have on hand when it really hits bad. But it can't be anything I love too much or I'll, like, devour way too much of it. You know, it's weird. It's like, well, why would you buy cookies if you didn't like them? Yeah, I like cookies. I've rarely met one I haven't liked, but if I have like Oreos in the house, I can't do that. That's like almost a drug to me. But if I want something a little sweet at night with a cup of tea, I'll have graham crackers or like Fig Newtons, which I like, but not as much. But because everybody was talking about like food and weight and of course Amberlynn Reed, and she apparently was even in there tonight if it was really her. Um, I don't know. It's like Dealing with her and talking about her usually turns people off to food. It makes you not want to eat. Um, but but because everyone's always talking about food and diet plans and this and that, and Zach started out by eating Cadbury eggs, I'm like such a chocolate freak. I can't have candy in my house. There's certain things I just can't. Um, ice cream's a trigger for me. Um, something like chocolate chip cookies. Um, what else do I love? I love Cheez-Its. I love cheese. But any kind of like chocolate, oh my God, I really can't. What I do like to have sometimes at night is sugar-free hot chocolate that I make with almond milk or cashew milk because I'm lactose intolerant. There's a little fun fact for you. All right, I don't know how this is going to come out because I know that it's sideways. Like I'm laying this way and I'm looking up at the camera there, but I don't know how this is going to come out. I just felt like coming back on to say goodnight and to let you know that I might be branching off into um, trying to do some ASMR stuff, even if it's just reading stories or, or original poetry or something. <clears throat> might as well make use of a voice that people says is calming and soothing. It means a lot to me when I hear voices like that, too. And you know who you are. I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Peace out.